everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a face shave today, and just before I start, I just want to say, you guys that can go against the grain, piss me off, because I tell you what, there's <laughs> not much there today on my cheeks from when I went against the grain yesterday, so if you can go against the grain on your whole face and your neck and everything, it must be such an amazing feeling to be able to sort of be BBS for a full day if, you, if, if your hair takes that long to grow, but compared to the rest of my face, my cheeks and this these little parts here that I normally get sort of BBS are still reasonably smooth so yeah I'm a bit a bit upset that you guys get to do it but I get to do it on my head so I do get the feeling of it just not on my face which is lovely okay the soap for today is pure tool damn fine shave I've got no idea I don't know anything about this it's made by Panna Crema I don't know I don't even know what the scent is I, I can't find <coughs> Anything on the scent profile on this at all. What I can say, I couldn't think what this smelled like last time when I unboxed it. To me, it smells like black tea or a green tea. Or it smells like tea. I don't know if that's what they're going for, but that's that's what I get from it. If one of you, any of you guys out there know anything about the soap, if you can pop a comment on there, just to, even just if you can find a link for it. If you can't find a link, if you could pop down what the description is, if you know what it is. But it smells like tea to me. It smells very similar to the black tea soap that I used recently and since I'm doing black tea I'm going for a beautiful coffee Oh yes First coffee of the day and it's 20 to 11 Okay <clears throat> Brush today is the Brush Guy brush 20, I think it's a 24 mil boss knot very, very similar in feeling and texture to the Game Changer, but different not in my opinion. I've made up my mind, I think it's different. I'm sure there'll be people out there who will disagree, but I think it's the same, a different knot. I'm going to face lather with this knot today, for this brush. I, I don't normally face lather with it, just fancied something different. It's a lovely brush to hold, it really is, it just sits perfect in your hand for that grip there. It's got good length on it so you're not getting lather everywhere. I'm just going to dip my tips again. Now this is a very firm soap. So you do need to keep adding water as you're building up your load in the brush. So it takes a little bit longer to load. Yeah, it just smells like tea to me. It smells like sort of black tea or a green tea, some, some sort of tea. Still dipping and loading. But obviously it takes a it's a good bit of water to get it going. It's starting to get nice and pasty now, I can see. <clears throat> and the weather isn't that great today. It's pretty cold outside as well. By cold, I say about 15 degrees Celsius. It's a pretty cold by Western Australian standards. But it hasn't been a very nice day either. I've had to cancel the work for today because of the rain. Because our gutter cleaning machine is electric. And even though it's a wet and dry vacuum, you can't use it in the rain. Go figure. So wet the face. I have another little drink of coffee. Nearly dropped it. It's a different cup. I don't really like this cup, even though it looks pretty cool. Right. Let's paint it on. I did actually do a test lather of this off camera. From memory, it was actually a really good lather, but I can't really remember. So this knot is still very soft. It's got no scritch, but it's got more scrub, in my opinion, than what you get from a tuxedo. It's got more of a, in my opinion, a more natural feeling to the, the fibres. See there's definitely scrub there. You don't really get that from a tuxedo. All you get is the, the plushness of the tuxedo knot or the, the black wool, whatever you're using. Very similar knots. So I recommend for people that are maybe interested in going along the synthetic route, or at least trying it. 
if you're coming from years of using badger knots and bow, this knot is superb. It will give you the, it will give you that scr scrubby feeling you get from a good badger knot. Obviously, without the the water retention. But as you can see, it's the ease of making lather with a synthetic. In my opinion, it's far superior to that of a badger brush. And I know a lot of you guys that look at the state of me. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys out of the. aren't looking for the easy road. You're looking for the. I suppose trying to master the technique of things like badger brushes, bow hair brushes. Because they do, they require a bit more effort to get where you want to be in in terms of your lathers and things like that. But on the upside of that, you get the enjoyment of mastering something that's more difficult. So I can totally understand, but you'll not get a better lather than that from a natural hairbrush. You just won't. I don't care who you, who you are or how long you've been shaving for. I've been shaving long enough now and lathering long enough to know that you get a shiny, glossy, beautiful, thick lather like that and I can't get that with a natural hairbrush and it could be partly because the brushes I'm using aren't high enough quality of hair it could be my technique and I am rusty they do, t they, they do involve some sort of technique it's not rocket science but yeah you do have to have a bit of je ne sais quoi when it comes to natural hair brushes what a mess I've made here, holy shit and that's it it's not a downside to me but I do find with badger brushes they hold the lather more they don't allow it to flip all over your shirt and stuff quite as much they still do but not quite as much right we're up here we're going to be having a laugh this morning <clears throat> Gillette Go you guys know if you've watched me from the beginning these are the worst blades I've ever used along with those green Saudi Arabian blades or whatever they were I seen a thread on the Aussie White Shaving Enablement over here on one of the forums, not forums, on one of the Facebook groups. And see, I'm a bit confused with this. This is a Super Platinum. I've never noticed this before because it's at back then. So Super Platinum, it says Gillette Gold on the blade, Super Platinum. But on the blade itself it says New Improved Stainless. Is it the right, are they fakes or the right blades for the pack? I really don't know. <laughs> All I know is the shit. But I'm going to try it again anyway. I'm going to give it another go since my technique's improved. I don't think I had the Mergress when I used it, which has worked with every single good blade that I've used so far. I do have my Rapira still in here, so I'm going to pop that out. And if this blade doesn't work, we will pop the Rapira back in. And away we go. Let's screw it back up. Lock it onto setting three, and away we go. Look at that ladder. It is, it's a really easy soap to ladder. I can't really test it on my cheeks yet because there's no freaking hair. <laughs> oh, no, it's horrible. It's horrible. Oh, Jesus. These people. It is absolutely dreadful. No. Oh. Yeah, one of the guys on that forum or on that, that post where I saw these blades said he absolutely loves them. One of his favourite blades. Oh, I don't. Oh, it is dreadful. Let's pop this beautiful Rapira Platinum Lux <coughs> back in. Put that the right way. I sure do. Let's see what the difference is. Should be night and day. I can barely feel a blade. It's that smooth. Now I will say one thing, 
just going back to a previous year with the one blade for some reason my technique since using the one blade has actually improved I feel like it's improved, I feel like I'm holding the razor lighter and allowing the blade to do more work rather than using any pressure even though I'm, I'm light handed with them anyway I do feel like it's improved my technique for some reason I don't know why <clears throat> it does sort of tie in with if you guys watch Ken Lee over at Ken's BSing and shaving and BSing I can never remember the name of your channel mate I'm not used to just calling you Ken he's very similar it's, I've noticed an, an increase in technique recently from himself and it's been pretty much since he started using the one blade so I don't know whether it is the one blade or maybe we're just getting better get a lot of nicks or cuts or weepers or anything generally the only time I get them is if I daft enough to go against the green or oh, lack of concentration, tiredness I would say the, the main one is poor quality sumps Which this one isn't, this is actually a very nice soap. It's got doodles of slickness. Yeah, really excellent slickness. Residual slickness that is. No problem whatsoever using that for a head shave. You've already seen the quality of the lather. So it's um This is going to be a long video today, I can just feel it. I just know, I know I'm at 12 minutes now. But... Okay, this is a lovely, bl lovely blush. Lovely blush. It's a lovely brush for face lathering as well. I do prefer it for bowl lathering, if I'm honest, because of the handle length and the sort of the scrutiness, not scrutiness, the scratch and scrub you get from the brush. It's good for invigorating lathers in the bowl but I tell you what, it feels lovely on the face gives it a real good scrub as well and this lather from this Panic Crema Soap is exceptional it really is, really impressed never heard of them before Panic Crema but I got this, I think I got this who sent me this? I think Kenny might have sent me this one. I think. Someone else sent me a quote if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Kenny sent me. But it's uh, exceptional stuff, it really is. Right, let's knock this old razor down to setting two. I know you can't see that, but I'll just show you anyway. Just, you know what I mean? Sharing the love. Cross the green. It doesn't get much smoother than that really. You know, you can get to spend six, seven hundred bucks on a Wolfman, which I will do eventually. Maybe not six, seven hundred bucks, but whatever I get one for. Hoping to get one direct. But, oh, look at that. Never nick myself.
Oh, I don't actually make myself as a spot. A spot I didn't know I have. I had. I've just nicked the top off it. Yeah, slick, slick stuff this. Right, so as you can see, the lather's a lot thinner now, which is great, you don't really need a thick lather for this pass, but I just want to just push this soap a little bit and just see what I can get out. I'm going to dip the tips. Oh yeah, very, very, very impressive. Ladder. and all I've done is reinvigorated it with a little splash of water, a little dip in the water and away it goes again, like a brand new, straight out of the puck ladder very very impressive there's a lot of soaps out there, just don't do that Well, that's as good a shave as I've had for quite some time. The soap is very protective, extremely slick. I mean, extremely slick. no issue going over the same bits over and over again I really don't it's as it's as slick as anything I've used and I'll keep saying that the problem I find now at the moment all these artisan products you don't really get a bad soap you know you don't get one that's got dreadful slickness uh, it's not got a great lather it's not easy to lather it's not got a great scent there's very few out there what you do find is you'll find things work slightly different for different people and different water and obviously sense subjective, so yeah, they like the scent, you don't. But that was absolutely lovely. Really enjoyed that shave. Post shave feels lovely, nice and... It's almost moisturised but silky smooth. I can still feel that sort of slickness on my skin, which is great. A little weeper there, and I've obviously nicked this spot on my chin. But other than that, it was a damn fine shave. <laughs> right. Let's go with what sort of scent is that? T. T. 
TTT. So we'll go with some lemon. To make it a lemon tea. I don't have a drink of coffee for this. Good old Thea's. This was the first bottle of Thea's that I bought. As you can see, it's been pretty well used, but I've had that for pretty damn near a year now. It's one of the few Thea's that actually give you a good, nice burn. That along with the medicated and the peach as well, actually, surprisingly. It gives me a bit of a burn as well, but <clears throat> none of them are anything like I get from Humphreys. But like I say, that could just be an allergic reaction for me, <laughs> the way I'm going at the moment. Right, so the soap was Pure Tool, damn fine shave, and it is made by, I was just on there, panacrema.com, made in Italy. I'm assuming this is an artisan soap, I'm pretty sure it would be. But yeah, it's got a lovely, to me, a tea scent. So I'm interested to find out if it is actually tea or my nose is just fucked. Uh, the brush. Brush guy brush, I'm going to use this again on my head shave next. Really, really nice brush, I love this, I love the colour. I will be brutally honest, the shapes of these brushes still don't really do it for me. It's the colour that really draws me into this brush. I absolutely love it. But the knot, the boss knot, is superb. In my opinion, probably better than the game changer. I think it holds its shape better, and I think it's just a slightly bigger, bushier knot than you get from the game changer. The Mergress, short handle. Stainless steel knob on the bottom of you. You can get these with brass knobs now. And just a beautiful razor. It really ups the game of this razor. The head itself is superb. It shaves as good as any razor I've used. It really does, for the price anyway. Still not cheap, but worth it in my opinion. I've got the Rapira Super Lux in there. Platinum Lux. I did, however, start off with my favourite, all time favourite blade. The best blade in the world. The Gillette Gull. I am talking shit by the way, so if you just tuned in and that's the first, but you've seen these blades are terrible. Uh, so, don't buy them. Actually no, buy them and try them if you can get a sample pack, because they might be great for you. I think they're definitely my top two worst blades ever, and they'll never ever touch my face again unless someone sends me a special pack of them that's been honed by the stallion. Uh, what else do we use? What else do we use? Thea's Lemon. And then... I am going to finish with this. I'm going to finish with this after my head shave. I don't, I don't see the point in wasting it and then putting it back on again and running water down my face and everything. So I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks very much for tuning in. <coughs> you guys, uh, I've sent a few parcels out again this week as well. A few things that I've sold and piffed and whatever. So hopefully you get them all in due course pretty quickly. Other than that, stay safe. Drive safe. Don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.